Hey folks, this is Ruben, and today I'm going to talk about the Salesforce API. So as you know, accessing the Salesforce API is actually complex. You first have to create a connected app, then create the first access token, and refresh this access token with the refresh token uh, as it expires. So this makes accessing the Salesforce API very complex, where it should be very simple. So now there is this new Salesforce API proxy service by StackSync, uh, which does all, all that work for you and just enables you to access the Salesforce API uh, in 10 seconds, two clicks. So let's try it out together. So to get started, basically, I just have to create my account on StackSync, um, just like this. I just created already one. And I go to um, API proxy services. So from there, I can create a new API process, proxy service. I can select Salesforce. I just authorize my Salesforce instance to connect and I'm gonna validate it. So this is very, very easy. So here, I just have my uh, Salesforce instance, as you can see here, and now I'm gonna try to make some API calls to it. So when my API proxy service has been created, I just open it, and here I see my token, I can see like my connection details, and now I can, I can either create, assert, update, delete, um, uh, just get records, like manage, make an, uh, an SQL query, and many more um, operations. So what you can do now is just simply like copy paste the code snippet. And this is gonna create basically uh, one record. So uh, with a uh, name John Doe. So now I just go to my terminal, I paste it, and I, get, and, I get, and I execute the query. And now the query basically should just have added like one record. There we go. So we should see John Doe. And now you can also use the same service to uh, make operations on records between one record and 10,000 records. And StackSync is going to make the decision for you whether to use the API, uh, the normal API or the bulk API. For example, now, if I just go in uh, Insomnia or just Postman, I just create a new HTTP request. I paste my, my payload. And now, for example, I'm going to create um, um, even some more, uh, some more records. So here I want to create uh, two records. Um, both are named John Doe. I'm going to send. And now I just created two records. So now if I go back to my Salesforce, I refresh. And now I should see three times John Doe. From there, you know how to modify any kind of uh, standard or custom object in Salesforce uh, and, and, and make any operations at scale with the API. So that was it. So keep building and see you soon.